Google recently released Jammer 3N, an open model which they claim has an ELO score that's almost as good as Claude 3.7. Really, there's no way that's true because Gemma 3N is designed for low power devices like a laptop or a mobile phone, not a warehouse full of supercomputers. So let's test it against other popular open models for coding. And spoiler alert, it's not that good. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So we are going to test these three models on three coding tasks. The classic bouncing ball in hexagon, a snake game, and a rotating ASCII torus, because why not? Now, at the moment, the Olama version of Gemma 3N doesn't yet support tool use. So that's why we're not going to do anything too complicated. First up is Llama 4, which produced this on the first attempt. So we get the hexagon and the ball, but no movement. On the second attempt, we have movement, but every third or fourth bounce, the ball just seems to clip and goes out of the hexagon which isn't great, but sometimes the ball keeps bouncing and doesn't clip. Next it's DeepSeek, which just like Llama, produced the hexagon and the ball on the first attempt with a nice slider to add another ball, but there's no movement or very little movement. For the second attempt, still no hexagon movement, but I can click on add a ball, which adds the ball and gives it some odd collision. But Gemma 3N produced the most random result of the three models, making this odd spinning shape that seems to get faster and faster as time goes on. The second attempt didn't seem to do any better. And I even gave Gemma 3 a third attempt, which did produce the hexagon, but no ball, and the hexagon rotation is a bit weird. So it looks like the winner for this round is Llama 4. For the second test, again, we'll start with Llama 4, which did make the snake game on the first attempt, but it made it completely unplayable but on the second attempt, it easily fixed this. DeepSeek, however, nailed this in one shot and even added a button to restart the game. And Gemma 3N did make a snake game and added a score with a high score, but nothing here was playable. After inspecting the code, it did produce this error, which it did fix on the second attempt, but there's still no playable game. So it looks like the point for this round goes to DeepSeek. For test three, some of the models did this in Python. And the first attempt from Llama 4 produced this error. The second attempt produced this blank screen. At this point, I told Llama to use JavaScript instead of Python, which produced this result. Not exactly a torus, but it is a rotating shape. DeepSeek R1 produced this on the first attempt, which came with a lot of errors. It looks like it used 3JS without giving me a link to a CDN or instructions to install it. So when I told it this information, it gave me some steps to improve the code, but no link to a CDN for 3JS, which would have actually fixed the issue. For Gemma 3N, the first attempt was a Python script that produced this. The second attempt was also a Python script, which produced the same thing. At this point, I asked it to use JavaScript, which it then produced another blank screen with this error in the console. The fourth attempt produced another error, and the fifth attempt produced even more errors. At this point, I'd given up on Gemma 3N and didn't want to try a sixth attempt. So it looks like Llama 4 just about scrapes this round. For reference, this is how the end product should have looked like. Now, before we start praising Llama 4, unlike Gemma 3N and DeepSeek R1, it's really difficult to run on a laptop. Even in a beefy GPU server from DigitalOcean, it still needs a lot of space and a lot of RAM just to run which goes to show that open models are nowhere near ready for handling complex coding tasks. Unless, of course, you're willing to do the research to find a good open model trained specifically for coding and run it on about four or five Mac Studios, which I don't have the time or budget to do right now. But what do you think? Are there any open coding models that you recommend or use on a daily basis? Let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, it's me again. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out BetterStack. It's an amazing product that I use all the time to help me write better, more robust software. And it's got a free tier, so you've got no excuse not to check it out.